Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel and in front of you you have the Hult Aquatic. Now I live on the west coast of Sweden uh, in Gothenburg and around here there seems to be so many creative people doing nice watches. And in the proximity of where I live in Gothenburg there's an area called Hult and originated in Hult is a guy called Oscar. And Oscar like vintage style watches but he, he would prefer to have some modern specifications so he took some pieces of inspiration from older style watches he does not skew away from what inspiration is and he made it into a modern packaging and he said I'm gonna keep the vintage size on this watch and hence the Aquatic was born. Now this is a prototype it's been on loan for me from Oscar we had a nice little breakfast a couple of weeks ago and we discussed life, watches <laughs> and so on and let's jump into the specs and specifications like I said this is a smaller watch we have a case size of 37.4 millimeters we have a lug to lug of only 43.5 uh, width on the bracelet of 20 millimeters the height is 12.2 millimeters we have a top hat sapphire crystal, it's running the popular Miyota 9039 high beat movement and as so many other micro bands do we have BGW9 with Super Luminova. So let's jump into a loom shot. And here is the loom shot, look at that minutes track, loomed minutes track. And that uh, be sapphire bezel is glowing brightly as well, everything looks really awesome. And those end indexes, they will um, they will grow, so they will have even more loom. But yeah, for a small watch, first attempt, great job, Oscar. So, smallest case size, diver style, inspiration, obviously from Omega, from Blancpain. Sorry, I slaughtered that name. With some nice details, we have a bracelet that will be changed to another style of Jubilee. We have the new style of on the fly micro adjust where we just push and we can move it and add links now when i first saw this watch i was a bit scared it was gonna feel a bit light and flimsy and i'm so glad that i got the opportunity to be proven wrong because this is a solid little watch uh, see-through case back with miota we've seen that before the bezel, the standard 120 clicks, sapphire insert. Really nice quality, no backplay. Awesomely made. So for a smaller wrist, I think this is gonna be a killer, to be honest. And the combination of that Jubilee and the on the fly micro adjust, it's just so comfortable. <laughs> it's quite sensational. And for a prototype, look at the tolerance on everything. One of my big pet peeves are uh, bracelets that do not fit the end links properly. And this is perfectly flush. And we have some great little atten attention to details. Look at that chamfer. Um, look at the brushing in combination with a few polished surfaces we have. So this is a everyday wear kind of that is everyday sporty watch for a smaller wrist designed screwing crown uh, makes it adds to the sportiness and the aquatic aquatic and antique word <laughs> play of words says what this watch is now he will launch a um, campaign on Kickstarter I think it's going live pretty much now in October so go check Hult out in the link in the description down below if you're interested. And look at those indices. Brushing and polishing in a combination. Uh, Oscar said it took the inspiration from the ocean and how it glitters. And I understand what it means. I've seen the blue version uh, in, in real life so to say. And yeah, when we do the comparison to the ocean with those indices yeah, it's, it's quite stunning. So a great attention to detail overall. Now, Mons and Niggles, what will be adjusted? Like I said, he will change the style of a Jubilee. 
even though it's a nice one, it will do it even better. And the font of Hult, uh, Halt, I guess people will call it abroad. Hult, we say in Sweden. It's a bit, uh, how do you say, disproportional to the 9, 12, 3, and 6 markers. But he knows this. And it will be 15% smaller, I think he said. Also, the indices will grow a bit so we can add more loom, making it even more of a sporty, sporty style watch. Overall, really, really nice attention to detail already. And for our first release, finding a, uh, the audience of the smaller wristed people, like me, <laughs> I think it's pretty close to a home run. Such a great time to be a watch enthusiast. Such a shitty time to have a wallet. <laughs> and this is how it will wear on my roughly 17 centimeter wrist now. A bit short uh, on, on the bracelet because I didn't have any spare links. But it, it's really comfortable. I think it sits well. And I forgot to mention that sunburst effect. Look at it. Isn't that gorgeous? Really, really nice little watch, especially for a first release. Well done, Hult. Well done, Oscar. I can't wait to see the finished product. And that's it, guys. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.